What's up, my achievement ally, Gators? Mayhem Blizz, we're playing a little Gator game for the 41000 G. It's on Xbox Game Pass, so if you've got that chappy, pick this up. And we'll be copying the 41000 G in an hour 45. And we can achieve this completion by going down into the settings, and at the bottom, we can turn speedrun mode to on. This will auto attack swing at max speed and will fast forward through all of the dialogue without us mashing the X button. What a lifesaver. So let's get started. So head through the playground, past the seesaws, and you can see the swing set in the background. Here we just want to walk up to our sister to initiate a cutscene. After that cutscene, we are tasked with speaking to three friends and completing their quests. Over to the left hand side here by this bench you can find Jill. Speak with her and then you're going to make your way at the back right, up the stone path. And then up here you'll find a stick amongst some stones. You can press the X button to pick that up and you can hold the B button down to constantly attack. And you want to destroy all the cardboard cutouts, chests and pots for a particular achievement. Now it's entirely up to you how thorough you want to be, you do get a collectible locator at the end of the game so you won't have trouble finding anything. Uh, for guide purposes I didn't spend too long destroying these as that's not really efficient for you guys. In the top left you can see we have craft points which we get from destroying the cutouts and the collectibles as well as for completing quests. You want to gather a minimum of 200 on this island as we need to purchase a couple of items so at least destroy the same items as you see me do. So destroy the four cutouts around Jill and then speak with her and that'll be her quest complete. And then what you want to do, if you head back up the path where the stick was, you'll find a friend called Franny and we can speak with her and you want to select tell the truth and you'll get a sword. This step isn't needed, but it's nicer looking than a stick. So head down here and you can destroy these cutouts, then over to the right hand side. A couple more cutouts here and across the bridge. So again, I'm just taking out cutouts which are kind of in our way, rather than going out of the way to get them. So then up the path here, and to the right. We can find Martin, so speak to him, and then he wants us to find a pot. Again, I'm just destroying these cutouts here, and then and then up this little pathway up top, you can find the pot he wants. So pick that up, and now we need to return that back to Martin. And that's Martin's quest complete. Now you want to head down here and up the stairs to the right. We're going to head over this rope. If you time your jump, you can propel yourself quite high. And then wrap yourself around here. To the left is a pot. You can attack that. We do have enough craft points now though. So head up here. Then when you get here, you want to speak with this monkey. This monkey sells bracelets, there are four in total, and we need to purchase all of them for an achievement. The first one is going to cost you 100 craft points, and the next one from there will be 500 each. And each bracelet will give you the ability to climb walls for a little longer, and the last bracelet will give you the ability to climb walls infinitely. So speak to Simon there, and then keep progressing up the mountain, destroying cutouts on the way, And then here you will be able to find Avery. Speak to Avery and his quest will be to craft a hat. We're going to go into the menu with the select button, go over to the hat and press the A button to use our craft points to purchase it. And then we can speak to Avery again to turn in the quest. So that's all of the quests completed and we can return to our sister. But if we continue on here and get some of the cutouts, And then just to the left, we'll be able to find Simon here, interact with him again. And then after this little cutscene, we'll unlock the ragdoll. There is an achievement for the ragdoll, which we'll do 
close to the end of the game. But for now, I'm going to make my way back to the sister, just taking this sort of left-hand path to clear out some more cutouts. And once you return to your sister and the cutscene has ended, you'll get the change of plans achievement for 20 Gs. And now we are on to the second island. You can press the Y button on the water with your shield to use as a skim board, and you want to tap the A button every time the shield meets the top of the water, not as I did there. So speak with this deer and select directions please to get them added to your friends list and then continue on. You can speak to this fox who will give you a rock which will auto assign to your left bumper. To complete this task you need to skim the rock across the water three times with a single throw and then speak to him again to befriend him. And then there is a friend above this waterfall who requires us to take out these cutouts. It's easier just to take them out here from this angle, so be sure to take care of all of them. You can literally mash that left bumper to fire as many rocks as you like. And then up here, if you missed any, you can finish taking them out and then speak to the squirrel, Penelope, to befriend her. At this treehouse, we're good to speak to this group of friends to start off the next main quest. And then we're going to make our way around the treehouse. So at the bottom we can find Suzanne here. Speak with her and we need to find a beach oar. We're going to follow this river to the end. And then take it to the left. We can find this small beach and find the magic oar. So pick that up and then we're going to make our way back to Suzanne. to her again to give that back and then we're going to hold the B button to mash this stone 
Keep holding it until a cutscene is initiated. And then we've got a new tool. So continue around the treehouse. And we can speak to Anton. He wants us to find a beetle. And you want to head kind of left at the top of the waterfall again. Not off of the waterfall, but just left here. And you'll find the beetle sitting on this stump. So as soon as you approach it, it will start this cutscene. And you basically want to follow him all the way back to Antoine. His quest done. Now we need to find Jean. He's up the stairs on the next level. He's here, so speak to him. And he wants us to go into the forest and find the yellow triangle. But before doing that, we're going to head up to the top level of the treehouse. And if you go to the top of this branch on the left, aim at the tree and you're going to jump and glide towards it. And you're going to try and jump up onto this branch. move back a little and then jump up again and you can find the monkey for a second time. This will allow us to purchase our second bracelet so you'll have twice the climb ability now and then we're good to continue on with Jean's task and take out the cutouts in the forest. So keep taking care of these And then at the end here, we can make three friends. We want to interact with the one on the right first, and we can select apple slices. And the one in the middle, we want to select lasagna, and the guy on the left wants some chips. Selecting all that, we'll get another three friends. So here's the last blue cutout, and I got the yellow triangle, the sandwich. So we can go and turn that task back into Jean. But before we do that, speak to Eva here, who's got a camera on this bird. We're gonna climb this tree for him to get the bird out. So climb the smaller tree next to it, and then we'll have enough agility to get up to the top of the large one. That will get the bird, and then we're gonna fly back to Eva. And now Eva's our friend. So we're going to head back to Gene to turn his task in. Now head back to speak to Jill. And then speak to the group. And that will get you the enrichment for invention achievement for 125 G's. So 
So the next area we're going to head to is the area with the wind turbine. You can see it on the map here. And again, pick up any friends or cutouts on the way. So we've got a friend here on the left, so speak with him. This is Gunther. And we're going to select take on a sidekick. He's going to run and stop a couple of times. We need to interact with him each time he stops. And then the last time he will become our friend. So this center area is kind of our home base and once we have enough friends we can upgrade the base. So we're going to speak with Tom and this will get us a tutorial of how it works. We're going to interact with this planning board and then we're going to hit yeah why not. This will open up more planning boards. We're going to speak to Jill in front of us and we can use 10 of our friends to build this church. And then we can continue. And by these rocking horses, you can see the wind turbine in the distance, so you want to glide over into that direction. And we're going to interact with a group of friends here at this water park. You can follow each pipe to the pump. And we're going to head past this junk for trash sign. And behind it, you can find Jada on the floor. So speak to him, and we're tasked with clearing out some grass. So hold the B button to clear out some grass. And then we're going to interact with Jada again to give him the grass. He's going to give us a bucket. We need to head to the sea and jump into the sea to fill it up. I'm just going to clear out some of these cutouts here, but not too many. And then head back to Jada with the seawater. He needs some sunlight, so we're going to destroy the junk for trash sign. That will allow the tree to grow. Interact with Jada again, and that will get the pump working. So you now want to head back to the water park. And then you're going to locate your next lot of pipes to lead you towards the second or third pump. Here you can speak to Joe and select any pose and he will become your friend. Here is Mr. Doodler. He wants us to clear out the cutouts on top of his house and we'll get the bubble gum for doing that.
And here you can speak to Sam. He's got an oversized pencil and every time you pick it up and speak to him to return it, he flings it to a new location. Um, so we've done it once there, but we're going to complete that one a little bit later. I'm gonna head across here and speak to Lucas. And we're going to select all of the top options. And that will activate his pump. So one more pump remaining. So you're going to make your way back to the water park, taking out any cutouts that you see. And then we're going to follow the last lot of pipes over here. And the last pump is located at the base of this waterfall. We can speak to Juke here. And we'll get a few questions. The first one is a lie. And then all of the rest is doubt. That will activate the last pump. So we need to return to the water park. So interact with that valve and that will bring the water back to the water park and that will complete the quest. It will also get you the growing with water achievement for 125 Gs. And then before we leave this area, we can get our third bracelet. If you want to head towards the wind turbine, we can use the trees to get up to the top. And then we can interact with the monkey, select yes to spend 500 craft points and get your third bracelet. We're now going to head to the last location. This is where the highest point is located in the map. So head over to this direction. Again, clearing out any cutouts that you see. And what we're going to do is keep traversing up the trees and the mountains to get to the highest point. At the highest point will be another monkey with our last bracelet that we can purchase, allowing us to infinitely climb after we've purchased it. So follow the path here I'm taking, and then you're good to jump and glide to 
the highest point. There is a tree located next to it. And then you're good to climb to the top. Once you've purchased the last bracelet, you'll get the infinite power achievement for 48 Gs. So from here, you may as well clear out some more cutouts to save you climbing to the top again. And then when you're happy, you can drop down here and we can interact with this group to start the next quest. So follow this path between the mountains And through here, we want to drop down. We can find a friend called Twig down here. We need to jump and press the Y button at the top of our jump to do a flip for him. Once done, we can interact with him again and he is now our friend. Following the path ahead, we can find another friend, Louisa. Just tell her everything will be okay and she'll be your friend. Moving on, we can find Velma on the left hand side. And they're trying to round up their kids. So easy enough, we just want to cut them off on their set path and we're going to press the X button to capture them. Capture all of them and we're going to return them to Velma to complete their quest. On from there then we can see a friend called Tanner in front of us. He wants us to clear out the cutouts around him. So do that and then you're going to interact with him again to make him your friend. Up the slight hill from Tanner is another friend called Neil. We're going to keep destroying all of the cutouts surrounding him and speak with him each time once done until it's complete and he's our friend. Now near Nil is an entrance to the cave where we can find Esme. We're going to speak with Esme. And then after the dialogue we're going to speak with the ice cream man outside of the cave. And then once you've got your ice creams, we're going to speak to Esme again, and that'll be their quest complete. Now we're going to leave the cave to the right. You can select the sunscreen dialog option to leave. And then we're going to make our way back up the mountain and you can find Adromeda. He'll want you to destroy some alien cutouts.
And then a second round of alien cutouts. And then we need to shoot the balloons holding up this UFO cutout. Once that quest is done, we can head back to the group. We're going to speak with them to complete the whole quest and get the lunch by compromise achievement for 125 Gs. And now it was at this point I got a bit ahead of myself. We need a total of 25 friends to fully upgrade our base and finish the game. However, if you have the exact same amount of friends as me, we are on a total of 20 friends. So we need 5 more. So gliding from here you can aim for the antenna in front of us. And we're going to climb to the top. And that will get you the interrupt this broadcast achievement for 20 Gs. Now before jumping off you can press select, go to the star tab and we can purchase the ragdoll for 600 craft points and equip it. I equipped it to my right bumper so now we can jump off the antenna, hold the right bumper and this will ragdoll us full speed into the ground for the oof achievement for 20 G's. We're now good to speak to Tom and turn in five friends to help build the castle. Then over to Avery's board to turn in 10 more friends to help build a juice bar. And it was at this point I realised we didn't have enough friends, so apologies for that. We are now going to make our way back to the mountain. And then over to the rightish side this time. And we can find some hanging cutouts here. You'll also find a hanging friend, so we can release the friend by shooting the balloons and then interact with him. And now we only need four more friends to go. So above us on this stone bridge is another friend, so make your way up there. And they want us to locate their scooter. We will do that in a moment. Over to the right hand side, just looking over that friend is Mochi. We 
can simply speak to Mochi to befriend her. Now on the ground from Mochi we can find the broken scooter to return to the friend above. After returning that item, we only need two friends remaining. We're going to head towards the rocks in the sea to locate a whale. You want to jump on the whale's back and interact with a bowling ball which is blocking the whale's blowhole. And then once that's done you can speak with Billy to befriend him. So one more friend to go. You can find this friend outside Esme's cave that we were in earlier. She'll be strolling around the lake. So here she is here, so speak with Madeline. And then select maybe a little, and that will befriend her. So now we're good to head back to the base to finish things off. We're going to speak with Martin to turn in 10 more friends to build the market. And then speak with your group of friends located right next to you. And then after the cutscene, we will have a bit of a story to get through. Now you don't need to worry about the small cutouts for this section, they don't count towards the achievement. These large cutouts are the ones we need to destroy to continue on with the story. So follow the linear path, destroying the large cutouts until you are all finished with the story. Thank you. 
And once you are finished, you will have a game ending cutscene. And after that, you will get the lesson learned achievement for completing the story. Now, all we need to do now is clean up the remaining achievements. We're going to head to Avery using the slide, interact with him, and you will retrieve the megaphone. Now, we can use this megaphone to locate the rest of the friends on the islands. But before doing that, though, we're going to go back down the slide. We can speak to Jill. Jill will give us the ability to ask Jill which we can use to locate the rest of the cardboard cutouts throughout the entire island. Now head inside the church and onto the roof we can find the monkey again. Speak with him once to get the name reveal achievement for 20 Gs. And then we can interact with him for a second time to get the actual name reveal achievement for 20 Gs. And then we're going to interact with him for a third time to get this is the real name achievement for 20 G's. And then we're going to interact with him for a fourth time to get, believe me, this is the real name achievement for another 20 G's. And yes, we're going to interact with him for a final fifth time for the embrace the unknown achievement for a whopping 125 G's. Next, we can press select, go to the star tab and equip the balloon to the right bumper. And then we're gonna simply press the right bumper to use the balloon and let it take you up until you get the ascend achievement for 20 G's. You're now going to press select and equip the megaphone and use it to locate your friends and complete their quest. If you're struggling with some of these friend quests, you can turn off the speed run mode from the settings to see the full dialogue of what they're asking. But usually you're able to work them out, it's usually collecting something for them in close proximity to them. I have dropped a few friend quests in here for you, but if you want to skip these, you can skip ahead to 4537. If you still need help, drop a comment and I'll be happy to help.
So you will eventually come to this junk for trash stall. And before speaking to him, we need to pick up 10 pieces of litter. You can find cans scattered around the river. And then you want to purchase every item for sale at his stall. And after purchasing all of the items, he will leave as all of his items are now sold out. And we can sit in his chair for the under new management achievement for 48 Gs. After that, you would have purchased the sticky hand from him. So we're going to press select and equip that bad boy as there is an achievement related to it. And now for me, I found the best place was to go back to the home base for this. And I dropped down by the castle as there is a large wall. And then what I did is aim and shot your sticky hand to the top part of the wall. And then when you can't go any higher, you're going to swing away from the wall and reshoot your sticky hand back at the top of the wall. And you're going to repeat that five times without touching the ground for the spider gator achievement for 20 G's. Now I did try a few other methods I saw online, but this worked best for me. And then after that, you're going to continue back to using your megaphone and locate more friends. And once you've completed all friend quests, you will get the hero of the people achievement for 48 G's. You're then going to want to replace the megaphone with the Arse Jill and you're going to destroy all of the cardboard cutouts you missed. And once you've destroyed all of those, you will get the Craft Slayer achievement for another 48 Gs. And you'll have all of the available craft points in the game now. So we can press select and craft and purchase all of the items in the notebook. And then once you've crafted all of those, you'll get the Demon of DOI achievement for another 48 Gs. And then lastly, we need to equip some outfits. The first outfit is going to be the space set. So from the hats tab, we need to select the space dome. And then the weapons, we're going to select the laser sword. And then the star, you're going to select the space blaster. And that will get you the lizard in space achievement for 20 Gs. Next up, the paint outfit. So from the star tab, we're going to select the paint blaster. The shields, we're going to select the art palette. The weapons, we're going to select the paintbrush. And the hats, we're going to select the artsy beret. And that will complete that set for another 20 Gs. And the last outfit we need is the ninja set. So from the hats, the ninja headband. The weapons, you're going to select the nunchucks, of course. And then the star, the shuriken. And that will get you the last 20 Gs. And that's it, guys. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick 1000 G. If you want to help out the channel, please subscribe. That'll be awesome. I'm trying to hit 3K and I'll keep dropping videos like this. And as always, take care and I'll see you in the next one.